What's up, Warrior Babes? Hey, everybody. Nikki here. Welcome to our Warrior Babe Wednesday live Q&A time together. I'm stoked to be here with you guys right now and spend the next like hour or so hanging out answering some questions so as you guys are joining in comment say hey what's up let me know who's here plus the more that you guys comment the more that it pushes this video this live to the top of our Facebook community and all the other babes can join in to this live Q&A all right um, if you guys are tuning in after this is live, then do the hashtag replay and then just keep all of your questions and uh, comments that pertain to this Q&A in the comment thread uh, beneath this video. All right. What's up, Cheryl? What's up, Christy? Hey, babes. How many of you guys joined in on that shoulder workout today? <laughs> I died. I died. <laughs> if you guys didn't catch the uh, replay or the uh, if you guys didn't catch the live shoulder workout that Madeline and I did, it is on my Instagram story and on my IG TV. Uh, so you guys can do the replay tomorrow or the day after whenever you guys want to. Tanya. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? What's up, you guys? Hey, Laura. What's up, babe? All right, so we'll get started in just a few seconds. So if you guys have a question, um, you guys can start commenting your questions in below in the chat box here, and we can dive into um, our live Q&A in just a few seconds, all right? What's up, Cheryl? Hey, babes. Before we do dive in, I want to give a huge welcome to all of our new warrior babes who have joined us this past week. You guys are literally a part of a community of amazing women of thousands of women who are getting toned and becoming a stronger more confident version of themselves and we're all collectively doing it together which is so freaking amazing and so the group is so supportive the group is so inspiring um, and we want to welcome you new babes here to the community so if anybody is new and this is your first live do the wave emoji so that I can see who's new and we can give you guys a warm welcome all right what's up Stephanie what's up Valerie Laura, my body has been so sore with the new workouts. Yes, I know that Kate and I love to hear that. We love hearing the, the uh, new soreness that gets brought on with the workouts of the month. Um, anyway, so all of our new warrior babes, if you guys are new, give the hands up emoji. I want to see who's new in this community. You guys, warrior babe is where strong is the new sexy. That is the message that we are trying to relay. We want you guys to know that building this muscle and having a toned strong body is something that is sexy um, so before we dive into our q and a i do also want to just let the new warrior babes know how important it is to go through the uh, warrior babe blast off emails the emails that are coming to you and your email inbox for the first 14 days here inside of warrior babe they're going to help you transition into um your this new this lifestyle right hearing the language that I talk about hearing my verbiage being able to understand what your goals are when you're first starting out being under to be able to understand macros and being able to understand workouts so don't ignore those blast off emails um, because you're gonna have a lot of questions that you need answered through those blast off sequences all right so don't ignore them one video per day coming to the email that you guys used to sign up with all right, and then before we dive into this, uh, if you guys have any questions, you can start leaving your questions in the comment section. But before we dive in, guys, pertaining to questions, don't be that person to ask questions that can be answered inside the training application, okay? Take the time to really go through that application. Go through all of the golden nuggets that I'm providing you um, and, and search there and learn. Uh, just watching the five minute videos in the Warrior Bay Basics section. Taking that time on day two of your blast off videos, it takes you through an entire navigation of the application. Right when you click start here in the application, it takes you through an entire navigation too as well. So really watch that. That's probably like a, what, a five to seven minute video and you can understand exactly where, what, and how to operate the Warrior Babe app, the Warrior Babe pocket trainer. 
All right, so take the time to search there. Listen to everything that I'm sharing with you. If, if the question that you're seeking isn't found inside the app, then on your home screen, click need help. That'll take you to our frequently asked questions resource page, which is an entire platform that we are constantly updating with common questions that we get on a regular basis and providing articles with, with answers to the questions that you guys have. Then lastly, if you guys can't find the answers to your questions inside of the app or inside the FAQs, then come to the Facebook group, tag Kate, which if you guys are new and you don't know who Kate is and you've seen Kate Holly's name pop up in her community, she is our community manager and she is inside of our Facebook group answering and supporting you guys on a daily basis, answering your questions that you guys have pertaining to this new lifestyle, pertaining to um, the application, pertaining to anything, really. She's there to help you guys. She's there to provide you guys support. Um, and she's in there every single day. So don't hesitate to tag or um, have somebody tag Kate. Like, ha and she's there to help you guys, which is so commonly unheard of inside of Facebook communities, inside of fitness. Um, you don't really have that person you can rely on. And Kate is our babe to rely on here in our community, which is so great. All right. But the last area that you guys should be going is to support with fitness and nutrition questions. Okay. Support is there to help you with like membership and technical issues. All right, so before we do dive in too as well, one more thing guys, one more thing, but I keep asking questions of you guys so I, we can just go in a flow with the questions that I see coming through already. One more thing is um, the interview. We did a new thing where I interviewed one of the veteran warrior babes who's been super successful, but most importantly, has knows your struggles. When you guys are just starting out, she has been through it and I, she channeled into that period of her journey where she was struggling, where she was really having a hard time trying to figure out all of this and this, the more that she consistently applied the things that she was being taught here in Warrior Babe, the more that it just started to click. She just consistently applied them and kept showing up for herself and eventually it clicked and eventually more results started showing and she's two years into her journey and has had an amazing transformation. So that's Dee Dee. We shared that interview here inside the community so that you guys can not only hear it from my words and hear my tough love, but you can also hear it from Dee Dee and take the tips and the strategies that she's employed on her journey and put them into your journey too as well. So if you guys haven't listened to that, I highly recommend that you go and listen to it. It's just a 30 minute interview and I guarantee you it's gonna inspire all of you guys because you're gonna hear your own story and Dee Dee's story and you're gonna know that it's fully capable for you to accomplish the types of goals that you want to accomplish. You just have to put in the work consistently, all right? All right, babe, so let's dive into our, our uh, Q&A here. So Cheryl, because I'm in menopause, I'm hearing that estrogen and progesterone are slow, low, that heavy duty workouts may create more stress and will cause me to gain more fat. What the fuck is that true? So it's commonly understood that the more that anybody who, who is 55, 60 years old, depending on your hormone levels, and I'm about to get really deep here, you guys, and it may be uh, um, a little bit of a techno babble, like for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say, but I'll try and keep it very broad speaking. If you guys are, like there's women that go through menopause and they're super fucking healthy. Their hormones are, are completely normal and can function very well. Then there's other women that have some estrogen, high estrogen, have low progesterone, vice versa, all that kind of stuff. That's why I highly recommend is out of my field of scope to be able to prescribe, right? That you need to be doing this because of your hormones is something that you want to make sure that your hormones are in check with your doctor. But if you are somebody who naturally has high cortisol levels after you go through menopause, then yes, cortisol is a hormone that will naturally store body fat. That is why I don't recommend lifting fasted because it naturally raises cortisol. That is why I recommend feeling your body before a workout because if you don't, that naturally rises cortisol. That's why I recommend eating enough food throughout the day because if you don't, you are putting more stress on your body that naturally rises cortisol. And if you already have naturally high cortisol, you're just working against yourself here. So to answer that question, you would want to figure out where you lie with your hormones. 
okay? So, because it's not true for somebody who has normal hormone levels, but it is true for somebody who has a fluctuation of different hormones and different hormones are kind of out of whack. Now, can that be fixed? Yes, it can be fixed, but you need to understand exactly where you stand um, in terms of your hormones. All right, so everybody's body is different. That is what I preach. You guys know I preach that. Somebody who's 50 plus years old cannot be following a plan or macronutrients that somebody 30 plus years old is following. It's just physically fucking impossible. And you're not, you may get results to start, but those results are gonna stop two, three weeks in. And it's not your fault. It's because the program's not made specifically for you like Warrior Babe is presenting, which is your unique body type, your stats, your age, your height, your weight, what your macronutrients need to be in terms of that. That is exactly what I do here in Warrior Babe. That is behind the scenes. That's really what's happening, all right? It's being uniquely designed for you. Lori, hi, new to the group, first Q&A. Welcome, babe, welcome, welcome. Excited for you and excited for you to be a part of this amazing freaking community. All right, Cindy, I've had my BMR done twice. It's 1100 calories. Do I need to adjust anything? So BMR is just what you naturally just burn sitting here, talking, breathing. Then you got to add in your cart, your expenditure, right? How much are you walking? How much are you working out throughout the day? How much are you exerting energy that naturally can rise above 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, 2000, depends on your activity level. That is why the quiz asks you, are you sedentary? Are you moderately active? Are you active? That would attribute to your car, your energy expenditure throughout the day and will naturally rise your caloric intake to a point that you would be maintaining at, right? And then the calculator, depending on your goal, you guys, if you choose tone and shape or you choose uh, first tone and shape, that will naturally put you in a caloric deficit to start seeing the results that you want. If you want to maintain a build, you will stay at that caloric intake with whatever that moderator puts you at. Okay, so follow the calculator is my question, is my answer. <laughs> because behind the scenes, I know that these are questions that you guys have. I have done this. I have been coaching for three years and that is why I have actually more than that. And that is why I've created this calculator in order to fit you. Trust me now, believe me later. Don, what's up? Hey Nikki, the IG live was fire. Shoulders already feeling it. Yes, <laughs> my shoulders, the mountain climbers at the end, the one minute of mountain climbers. Oh my God like dead t-rex arms if you guys didn't get to join in on the live workout go to my ig go to the igtv or my stories has the has the has the uh, workout there enjoy enter at your own risk start the workout at your own risk and don't give up keep following it through to the end Bo, what's up, babe? Hi, new babe here. Just finished my first week. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, Cheryl, thank you so much. Makes perfect sense. The program is working for me, so I am going to assume I'm doing okay. Awesome, babe. Thank God. <laughs> I love this program. I love to hear that. I love reading that kind of stuff, you guys. Um, this program, it's not something that's like a cookie cutter, right? I, when I first started my coaching, I was talking to women on the phone, tons of women, and all of them would be like, Nikki, I'm just so sick and tired. Like, first of all, they were overwhelmed because they didn't know what to follow. They didn't know what to eat. They didn't know how to properly work out in order, in order to get a tone body. And neither did I when I first started. So when I'm hearing this, I'm like, yeah, I know. I hear you. I'm loud and clear. And then they were all like, dude, I'm like my coach, somebody gave me this. It was the same thing that my neighbor was following. It was this cookie cutter thing that like, yeah, it worked for like two weeks and then my body just stopped getting results. That's because you're following something that everyone and their mother is following. And that's just for long sustainable results and uh, results that are going to keep continuing to show, you gotta follow something that is meant for you and your body. And that is why that is why Warrior Babe is alive. And where I knew that, that y'all needed 
the truth <laughs> the truth <laughs> Kristen hey what's up babe enjoying the layout of this month's workouts feeling sore yahoo nice Kate's evil genius is kicking in hashtag evil genius she's the master behind this month's workout program the past month's workout program so y'all can thank Kate she's killing you <laughs> And we love, I love, I love reading those kinds of comments uh, because we know that it's, uh, it's working. It's super effective. These kinds of workouts are meant for you to change. Put your body in the right environment, right? Put your body in the right environment. Your heart rate's elevated. You're, you're, you're feeling the burn on your muscles. You're specifically focusing on one or two muscles at a time. You're putting your body in that perfect environment to burn off body fat and to tone and shape, to, to put on muscle, which is what tone is, and start changing your body composition. That is what these workouts are uniquely designed to do. All right, babes, where, uh, where are all my babes at? Where are you guys at? Where are the questions at? It's really low key right now. Decline push-ups are killer. <laughs> yeah, Lara. Anything push-up wise, which is insane because, I mean, anything body weight wise can be really freaking challenging. And this is something that I can share with you guys. If you guys are still being quarantined at home and you're still having to work out from home, or even if you do work out from home, listen up. Because it's a common thing that I'm hearing from women and from my VIPs and they're wondering how to create how to create more of that burning aspect while being at home. Guys, let me remind you. I am still working with 10 pounds and 15 pound dumbbells. I and I have a 120 pound dumbbell. And I have some loop bands, but I barely use those because I I can't use them other on leg days. But anyway, if you guys and this can, should pertain to any kind of workout that you're doing, if it's in the gym or even if it's at home, but mainly because we're stuck at home and I have to really keep that focus on my muscle. If you guys are constantly going like this, and you're just kind of going through the motions, right? Like a chest press. Slow it down. <laughs> Slow it down. What you need to do is like really one, two, up, one, two, down. One, two, up, one, two, down one two up one two down if you can start doing that you are going to put so much more focus on the actual muscle that you are working so here's a great example some of you guys who maybe have started doing steady state cardio on an, on an incline on a treadmill and you're wondering how the fuck am i so sweaty after just walking on a treadmill and the reason is, is because you're causing your body to do a little bit more exertion, even though you're just slowly walking. You're walking on a hill incline. It's a little bit more challenging for your body. The same goes when you are slowing down and putting more resistance on your muscle, more time under tension. When you can do that, you're, you're putting more focus on the actual muscle that's being worked other than just slow. If you're just going through the motions, you ain't gonna feel it anywhere. You may feel it slightly, but you're losing out on your full potential of actually engaging the muscle 90 to 95%. If you're just doing it like this, you're, you're not putting your muscles to its full potential. Turn it up a notch, slow it down. Turn it up a notch, meaning get the percentage up to like 95%. Slow it down, really engage and feel that muscle. Like it should be like one. Two. And if you guys need to want to be able to see more of that in action, tune into the live workouts that Madeline and I do every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or catch the replay. You guys can see how we count and how slow the actual movement should be. That's how you're going to really engage and put the focus on your muscles. Bobby, where are the different workouts located in the app? Come on, babe. Go inside the app, click on strength, and then you're gonna have WB burn, which if your goal is to decrease body fat and tone and shape, you will be following the WB burn. 
if your goal is to maintain and build some lean muscle being in a caloric surplus, then you're gonna follow the WB build workout. So you click on those, there's the entire breakdown of your workout. Cheryl, I had a friend ask if I could teach her about macros on Monday. I'm having fun helping her. Babe, that's awesome. You are, you're killing it. Your results are amazing. <laughs> and that's, that's why you're gonna have the people see your results and want to know what you're doing. And that is so freaking cool. Lara, why fasted cardio? Well, any state that you do here in Warrior Babe, um, you're gonna be in a fast, you're gonna be technically in a fasted state, whether it's doing it when you first wake up in the morning, whether it's right after and immediately following your workout, you're technically in a fasted state then, and whether it's right before your next meal, which are the three optimal times that I recommend you doing cardio. Um, but the reason why being in a fasted state here, for example, you have your pre-workout meal, you go and you work out, right? So you're utilizing that fuel for your intense workout. Your muscles need that fuel in order to uh, have the strength, in order to build, in order to re repair, and then slowly break them down again while you're working out. And then your body is using that fuel. So you will basically use it all up right your your glycogen if you ever feel like you're like you're about to tank or you feel like that was a really good workout i'm fucking exhausted your gas tank is empty your glycogen stores are empty so then when you move right into cardio afterwards you are tapping into a different energy source which is most likely your fat stores on your body uh, to decrease that body fat that is what you're tapping into to do that workout. That's why it's technically fasted. Same thing's happening in the morning. If you're doing fasted cardio in the morning, your stores are empty because you haven't eaten since the night before. So you're, you're training. Behind all of this, you guys, you are training your body to do these specific things. That is why five years later, I'm able to maintain the body I have. I have trained it so well. You have to think about that. Like you, this is your body and you can train it to do things. Okay, so when you're in the morning, your stomach is completely empty. So you are, uh, you're, you're having your body tap into different energy stores to get you through that workout. It's not relying on carbs, it's relying on fat. And then the same goes for any of the other cardio sessions throughout the day. Cheryl, oh, and I keep using the AF free ship code with coalition and they are still giving free shipping. Code with coalition and they are still, yeah, absolutely. That's the code, but it's it's two F's. So double check that. It's AF free ship. And then you guys can use, I think Madeline's code is M Taylor. I think that's her code. Don't hold me to that, but you guys can start using her code too as well. Cheryl, slow and steady. Yes, yes, yes. I still feel my chest from Monday's workout. Yes, babe. Yes. All right, Kristen, does it make a difference if you use a dumbbell versus a kettlebell when doing standing or bleak bends? No, absolutely not. I'm wondering on my way the weights. Yeah, no. I'm wondering on the way the way of the dumbbell or a kettlebell sits. Nope, doesn't make a difference. Laura, yep, I use five to 10 pound dumbbells and I'm a sore. Yeah, people, if you guys watch my lives, I'm using my 15 and 10 pound dumbbells and I am dying and I am still facilitating an insane pump. You guys can see like in uh, today, I was like, oh my God, I can't move my arms. Like the, the pump was unreal. They were like the pumpkins on my fucking shoulders. <laughs> but I'm only using, literally I was using 10 pounds for some of the movements and 15 pounds for some of the movements. And I'm still gonna be sore. It, this, this, I hope it just, it eventually clicks. You don't, the weight doesn't matter. As long as you create the resistance, which is by slowing down your tempo and creating that mind to muscle connection, as long as you do that, you will be sore. All right. Susan, 
I am new to this, struggling with the macronutrients and planning my eating. Is there an app that helps with this? Any help is greatly appreciated. Yeah, Cheryl, just comment it right below. I recommend, so first of all, Susan, I can recommend, totally normal to experience that struggle, especially when you're employing something new. Don't give up, all right? Just keep going consistently, you know, doing something more than you were doing the day before. Um, learning that then you more that more than you were the day before and employing on it and still following through and taking action every day and i guarantee you you'll nail it down in one or two weeks it's a learning curve it's something you probably never done before but it is hands down the most effective way to change your body composition is macronutrients um, my fitness pal is great i teach that inside of the application if you go to the uh, transform and you click on WB basics and you go into my fitness pal or, my, or the formulation for success is a video and I will walk you through how to use my fitness pal like a whole like dummy addition to using my fitness pal and inside of the basic section there are little videos golden nuggets on how to employ macronutrients into your world all right so I highly recommend going through the application learning what I'm teaching you, the golden nuggets that I'm giving you, and just taking it day by day. Taking it day by day. You are going, it's totally natural to feel that way at the beginning of your journey. Yep, macros get easier with practice. Yes. Don't get frustrated with yourself because that's on you, right? Control your emotion because this is something new that you are learning and you got you to gotta get uncomfortable uh, and be comfortable with being uncomfortable in order to get to your new goals that you have in mind for yourself, especially in a way that you've never done it before. Yes, Cheryl. All right, babes. I mean, more questions, please? <laughs> Let's go. All right, I mean, if I'm not gonna get any more questions, I, I mean, I do love hanging out with you guys, uh, but I mean, let's go, ask me more questions. Christy, how do you know when to change your macros? So if you are, and this is something I teach inside the blueprint, you guys, if you are, I mean, there's so many different, so many different, uh, points that I would say um, if you are at your goal weight time to shift it up time to get more more calories in there to fill out and to really you know show that muscle the muscles even more um, if you have noticed a uh, kind of like a stall in your progress like if you're taking progress pictures if you're me weighing yourself if you're getting measurements if you are crossing data points on all levels and you also are checking in on how you are feeling say that has come to a stall after like a two to three week period that's when you would want to play around with your macronutrients um and it's different for everybody it's it, i dive into this deeper inside of my blueprint program um it's completely different for everybody but if you go to one of the rally calls i talked about it i've talked about adjustments before and how to make adjustments but it's completely different for everybody's body and, and the results that you guys are experiencing. Cheryl, have you decided where you will be living in the future? I think I'm honestly leaning more towards Florida at the moment, but I'm probably just going to be, I'm probably gonna Airbnb in Florida for a little bit and then Airbnb in San Diego and see, I'm gonna go to both and see where I like, what I like the, what I like the best. Darla, the Arnold Press is one of my new faves. Yeah, that's a great exercise. Great exercise. Targets all heads of the shoulder. You got the fronts coming in like this. Then you're coming out. And you got the medial heads right here. And just everything is being worked with that exercise. 
Valerie, so my fat count is high. Is it okay to use butter? I know such a fat is high. Is that okay? So I would probably recommend more of like olive oils or avocado oils over using butter. Um, avocado and olive oil oils are very underlooked, but such an easy way to get fat sources in. I mean, one tablespoon is 14 grams of fat. A couple months ago, like uh, I haven't actually used it in a while or done this, but a couple months ago, I shared on my Instagram story that I literally, to get my fats in, would just get a teaspoon or a tablespoon, measure, fill it with olive oil, and just take a shot <laughs> to get my fats in. Cheryl, come to Cali, baby. <laughs> oh man, now we got some back and forth. Sydney says Florida is the best. I'll be living there in the next five years. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Laura, love listening to old rally calls. So helpful. Yes, you guys. If you guys go to transform in the application and go to, to the rally calls, you've got avalanches of abundance of rally calls to listen to. I mean, we, we're going all the way back to last year and that's there's like 52 probably plus rally calls to listen to that is a lot um i feel the sissy squats for days right those fucking things are gnarly those things are gnarly <laughs> emily any more hints about the worry babe gear yes so with covid going on right now and i know it's trickling down so this will probably ease up in the next couple of weeks um, I placed, when I shared with you guys last time, that I placed an order to be able to test the materials that we are using and test out like the quality of them. Um, I placed that order probably like two, three weeks ago whenever I shared it with you guys on, the, on, on this live. I still haven't gotten the uh, clothing because the, the, the fulfillment system people that we use um, are being affected by COVID. So... That is something that unfortunately it's been stalled for such a long period of time, but it is being stalled a little bit more because of COVID. But as soon as I get the gear that I ordered, you guys will know I'm gonna share it. I'll probably show up on on a Instagram on, on a live here with you guys with my Warrior Babe swag on. So I will keep you guys in the loop. When you guys see me with the Warrior Babe tank on here with the with the, one of our lives, you guys will know that I've gotten the order and that we will probably be rolling things out shortly after that. Um, Cheryl, I do shots of coconut oil on occasion. Yes, babe. <laughs> That's awesome. Valerie, you ride to work with me every day with the rally calls. Yes. That's awesome, babe. I love to hear that. I love it. Oh, Cheryl. Hey, babe. Good question. <laughs> yes. Swag. Yes, guys. That's the loop. That's what's going on. That is actively what's going on right now. Pam, still going through all the modules in the blueprint. And so far, it's hands down an encyclopedia of information. Yes. Can I screenshot that? Like, yes, guys. It really is. It's legitimately my goal is uh, to for you guys to never need like a nutritionist or a personal trainer ever again. You guys just come into the blueprint and you have that you have that encyclopedia of macronutrient information which a nutritionist may not be geared towards a, a transformation for body and understanding muscle and what it needs. You got that shit in the blueprint, my friends. You've got every ounce of material. I mean, we're going through macros, we're going through workouts, we're going through macro adjustments, depending on your progress that you're seeing or not seeing. We're diving into hormones. I mean, you're gonna be, have a clear understanding like, oh shit, I may be experiencing adrenal fatigue. I know how to pull it back for a week and I'm not gonna lose the results that I've worked thus far to get. Um, then we dive into more mindset and we're about to make that product even better. <laughs> so once you're inside, you get all of the updates free. You get anything that I'm adding to it free. It's about to be, it's a beast now. It's about to be a beast even more. So if you guys aren't inside of the blueprints here, my friends, check out this video. And I just put the link 
well, it says macro, it's not the macro accelerator, it's the blueprint. Check out the video and then you guys can actually be able to talk and schedule a time with my uh, babes, my team, um, to help you guys formulate a game plan for your journey. Um, all right, Bobby, I'm aware there are workouts posted in the app under strength and I thought you were saying there are different workouts posted each week. Maybe, oh, I got you, babe. On my Instagram story, on Instagram, on my IG, on, on my Instagram platform, um, myself and Madeline come live every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we're doing a workout of the week. So we're just, we're doing, just a, we're choosing a muscle group that we wanna hit and we're hitting it 1 p.m. every single Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. If you follow me on Instagram, and I've had babes just make Instagram accounts to follow me. So if you don't have an IG, I just highly recommend making one so you can follow me. Um, but you were, you're able to, we always have like a two day or three day window where we announce what we're gonna work out so you guys can adjust your workouts uh, for the week and to, to tune in with us on Wednesdays. We wanna make that group super big because it's so much fun. Um, it's so raw and real. I mean, our group is so awesome to the point that women are talking about um, how they're not able, they're not going to be able to wipe their butt after the workout. Like it's, it's just a great space for women, for us women to hang out and have a really freaking good workout. Uh, Shannon, so I follow the meal plans and my macros are skinny and now I'm feeling hungry all the time. Wow, babe, that's freaking awesome. Should I be eating more calories? I just don't want to lose any weight. I want to gain. So my question is, are you following the, the maintain and build macros? Um, because if you are, that's fucking exciting. Because as a as a skinny as a skinny babe, you can eat a lot. Your metabolism is very fast. So then, if you're following those specific macros, then my second question will be: Are you employing on the cheat meals um, on a weekly basis? Because you want to make sure that you're hitting those cheat meals, because that's even more food to feed yourself. Uh, thoughts on MCT? Yeah. I mean, that's a great way to get some fat macros into as well. One tablespoon is 14 grams. Plus, it helps with brain function and helps to focus. So absolutely. Um, the link is, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, let me know if you guys can see it. It's posted in the comments. It may pop up a little bit later. It may pop up somewhere inside of this thread. So Shannon, you are. Are you following the cheat meals too? Make sure you're employing the cheat meal side of things. All right, babes. There you go, babe. Go to uh, Shannon. Go to the Warrior Babe Basics and click on or click on Transform Warrior Babe Basics, and then click on uh, the Reward System. That's where all the cheat meals are and the information for cheat meals. All right, babes. I am. I'm not getting any more questions coming through. Um, so I hate to. I love hanging out with you guys, but I'm going to call it uh, with this Q and A. You guys keep up the good work. Keep up where you, in the community. Keep showing your, uh, okay, Valerie, VIP versus Blueprint. VIP is you're working hands on with the coach. Blueprint is where if you feel like you wanna do it yourself, that's where you're gonna do it yourself. But if you feel like you need more of that accountability, then you wanna, you're gonna wanna bump up to the VIP because there's a lot of eyes on you and it's hard to get past any bullshit excuses especially dealing with me. You have more access to me inside the VIP. <clears throat> All right, babes, I'm gonna tune out from our Q&A. It was hella fun hanging out with you guys. Keep up the great work. Keep showing up for yourselves. Keep being the, keep working on becoming a stronger, more confident version of yourself, right? That's, that's what matters the most. You guys are taking action on a daily basis, which is building your confidence. And once you start seeing the results is making you more confident in yourself to be able to achieve these results. All right, babes, consistency is key.
<laughs> All right, you guys, I will catch you on our rally call on Saturday, Sunday. Make sure you guys tune in Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These rally calls have been lit lately, so you definitely don't want to miss out because it's going to help you with some motivation starting your new week. All right, babes. Have a good rest of your evening. See ya.